still got your thing to draw around in a circle, you can grab another, draw another circle. Or you might just want to freehand a circle this time, up to you. Um, okay. I will just show you, if you want to sharpen this pencil, here's how you're going to do it, okay? You've got to have a knife, and you've got to very carefully scrape off some of the um, graphite here to get a sharper end. Now you can actually use this um, this dust here. You can use this as um, shading in your background. Shall I show you how to do that? There we go. So now I've got a nice sharp pencil. But this, I'll show you on this bit here. If you want to use this, what you can do, you can just sharpen your pencil onto paper like this, and then use your finger. And look at that, you get this beautiful soft, dusty you or you can dip your finger like press your finger in there create like a really soft kind of cool background okay so when you when you need to sharpen your pencil try and time it with when you want to make a cool shaded background okay so this is going to be a bit more of a freestyle now so what I want you to think about is um we're going to draw another scene, okay? But this time, it's going to be a scene in nature, scene from nature, um, that is a place that you love to visit. Okay, so a place from nature that you love to visit. So I was thinking could be like a waterfall, or it could be a river, or a forest. You could even do a forest. Has anyone got any ideas? Drop some ideas in the in the chat, or if you want to start on your first one. Ooh, tramping hut. That's a cool idea. Bridge. Nice. Me too. I assume that means me too, the tramping hut. Cool. Um, so, okay, so start off the same way. Remember what we, what we started off with? So some shading, some soft shading in the background. You can just start drawing your own thing using the same techniques that we just practiced before, okay? But starting off with a bit of tone in the background like that's a good idea. Um, people are saying the bush or the forest. So let's, why don't we try, I'll, I'll start drawing that, eh? So I'm gonna start with mine, maybe like a nice big tree coming up here. So you can draw your own thing or if you can't think of something, you can just copy along with my one. I really like um, trees, how they kind of, the roots, you know how the roots come down and they get all tangled up with things in the bottom? I think that's cool, so I'm going to try that. Um, and what else am I going to draw? Maybe some like other trees back here. Maybe I'll have like a little river going through between the trees, like that. If you're doing a forest, think about in the distance, you know, the trees kind of just disappear, eh? They're so like softer and there's heaps of them. And whenever you're drawing anything, yeah, you can use that same idea. Like soft things in the distance, sort of blurred out of it. And then things that are in the foreground are going to be a bit sharper and have more contrast. Still a little bit of blending there. What else would you have in the forest? You might have some ferns, eh? Ferns coming down like, drawing like that. I 
I don't know if you guys have ever drawn like a picture like this in a um, in a circle before, but it's quite a cool way of doing it because it means that like yeah, you're contained within this shape, so you don't have to draw everything that you can see. I ate some grasses. It's a good idea, especially at the front. Some sharp grasses. Not sure how to do the water. I might just do like a few wavy bits. I might actually just um, use the rubber and kind of rub out some of that water so like there's little highlights on it. Yeah, that looks all right. Feel free to ask any questions. You guys are probably pretty happy just like just drawing away. If you're in this class, you probably do like drawing. So remember what I said about contrast, so things that are like um, in the foreground have got more contrast, so that means more darks and more lights. So you need stronger darks, so darks usually work best around the bottom of something or where it's in shadow. So see how at the bottom of this tree here I'm making it really dark and shadowy at the bottom. Looks like a big, you know, redwood or a big tortoise tree or something like that. Yeah, cool. I'm not sure what's going on over here. Maybe there's another tree back over here. Yeah, cool. All right. Maybe just rub out a few like little highlights on the um Maybe some of the roots down the middle, down the front. Oh yeah, that works better, eh? 